what is a bleed, uh, when do we use it, and how do we use it? Well, if I just quickly create a new document, it doesn't matter what I create, I'll just do a standard print A4. And when I do a new document here on the right, I've got bleed and slug, and I set it all to zero, and I'll do create. And the pink magenta lines are the inside uh, margins, the black is the edge of the paper, and there is no bleed, so there's nothing else. So if I go up to layout, uh, margins and columns, I'll check everything. Are they okay? Yes. And then I'll go to file, and I'll go down to document setup, and now I'll change my mind with the bleed, and I'll set the bleed to say three mil, the standard, uh, basically. The chain is on, so they're all the same, and I can do a preview, and there you now, you see I have a red line outside the black edge. And indeed, if I increase that up or down, you can see it get uh, bigger or smaller. The point of the bleed is to make sure that when you want edge-to-edge -edge printing, when you want, say, color going from the edge of the paper on both sides, because the paper's cut and it's a mechanical process, so it might move slightly, you don't actually move the color to the edge of the paper, you move the color over it so the cut always goes through it. And if I show you an example here, here I've set up a page uh, through the looking glass, uh, Lewis Carroll, fairly straightforward. And I've got, as you can see, a border all the way around and the red line is the bleed and the black line is the edge of the paper. So I'm gonna get this green board all the way around and it's gonna be cut through to the black. So I'll always get edge to edge printing. And if I look at my masters, uh, A master, fairly straightforward. There's nothing on here, although it's got the bleed. B master, I have my bleed. I've got something on there to use. And I'm using facing pages here, and I've done something perhaps I shouldn't, which is basically put a bleed on the inside here, on the inside margins. But I did that deliberately to show you. These will disappear, really, because of the binding. The document will be uh, tight here, so you won't see it so much. So really, I should have just done a, a green ball all the way around, but not inside. But if I'm printing it on page by page, not facing pages, then I'd want that. But now I can go to each spread and scroll down and have a look to see how my bleed works. So that's how you do a bleed. And you do a bleed when you want edge to edge printing. You always want it edge to edge with all the copies. And that's how you apply it. Mm -hmm.